Hello and welcome to another video tutorial here on allaboutbodylanguage.com. Now in today's segment we're going to be talking about eye behaviour, uh, both positive and negative. Now then, if you caught one of my videos yesterday which I did on flirting and dating, uh, I talked about how women like to emotionally manipulate the situation by using their eye gaze and their eye contact. And this is one of the ways in a heterosexual relationship that women flirt. So that would be a positive aspect to eye behaviour, but and also in the negative aspect, we're looking at something called an eye block. Now we block out things that we don't like. Uh, it goes back to the paradigm where we go towards things we do like and we move away from things we don't like. And this behaviour works with the eyes as well. If we're around something we don't like, we will instinctively try to block out the visual stimulus causing us the distress. Like if something was quite smelly, we'll place our hands over our nose. If we didn't want to hear something, we would put our, we would cup our ears. But our eyes work independently. We don't have to um, utilize any other forms of block. We can put the hands over the face, but that, that's a very childish message we're sending out. So instead of doing that, we've adapted this behavior just by briefly blocking out the eyes. Now this can be done uh, extremely fast and often can be missed by most people, but it's a really reliable indicator that I do not like something. So you want to watch out for this type of behavior uh, next time you're at a social gathering or, or you, yourself or around someone who you think is being a bit funny with you. So watch out for how the eyes squint very briefly at you. They're uh, sending you a silent message that I'd rather not be here and I'd rather not be looking at you. So there you go. So keep an eye out for the eye block behavior and make sure you check out my other videos here at allaboutbodylanguage.com.